Hello, my name is John O'Kaffer. So, uh, I just want to show us how to use iOS a lot with Action Sheet style. So, in case you're wondering what Action Sheets is, is something like this. Uh, this is what we're going to be building today. But before then, let me just show you how it works. So, an Action Sheet comes up like this and gives you a bunch of options. So, there are two ways. There's another way iOS shows a list of options. It's something called a picker. But most times, the picker can be nasty in my own way and occupy space. So, I usually use the action sheets to give the user a range of options. Now, the thing with action sheets that most people do is it's usually for fixed set of lists. Maybe you have five items share. I'm sharing to five specific, which is constant. It doesn't change. But now, I'm going to show you how to actually use it for a varying set of data. So it's in a situation where uh, the user has to select between his favorite meals. You don't know how many. His favorite meal may be 10, maybe 20, it may be more. So in a case like that, I'm going to just run you through how it's going to be like. Okay, so to start with, I'll create a new project. Uh, iOS single view app, very quickly. Uh, sample 2. Alright. Now create. Uh, chugga, 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 chugga. All right, fine. Mm, so we're going to be creating this. Uh, now I open my storyboard file. Uh, button. Load, 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 load. Fine, we're well loaded. Now you load, load, load. Uh, I don't know why it's taking long this night. Okay, we're good to go. So then I drag my button. This is my button is going to trigger. Uh, action sheet. I don't need much to this button, just a button name. Uh, trigger button. I right, find that would work. Now, my view controller. Now, first thing first, we need a list that holds everything we need to populate in our action sheet. So, I'm going to create a new list. Var numbers equals to new lists. Nope, not that list. New list of integers. Okay, don't forget other name spaces. Now, for int i equals to I want to populate the list with just random numbers, not random per se, but with dummy numbers. I is less than mm, ten. I plus plus. Then numbers dot add i. Now we have our numbers list which have is going to contain ten numbers based on this code. Now we're going to use show these ten numbers on the action sheet. We create the alert style by alert equals to ui action. Sorry, ui alert controller dot create. Now, passing title is numbers. On um, the message is choose a number. Uh, for now, we won't give it any action. I don't think we we'll actually give it an action too, but still. Sorry. This is style. Yeah. So now the style I can choose either alert or action sheet. For now, we're with action sheets. Very cool. We've created our alert now to add actions. Please alert. We iterate through our individual list of numbers. So we we'll use it for each loop. Tap tap. For each number in numbers. So what happens now is for each number in number, we create an action and add it to this alert. So our action equals to UI alert action the create. Now the title is gonna we're gonna pass the number as the title number uh, action style we're gonna use default and for the action no we may change this later it's complaining of something okay this integer we need to cast it as string okay that was fine now we've created an action we add it to our alert Let's add action action Aha. Uh -huh. 
or to make it all fancy we can add a cancel button down here so the user can cancel in case he doesn't want anyone he can just leave it blank so outside our loop we'll create a cancel action for cancel action equals a ui a lot action dot create not that to be cancel give it the style of cancel and action no okay uh one thing to remember all of this will be done when the button is clicked so i'm going to have to wire the button we call the button trigger button the torch up inside All of this is supposed to be when the button is clicked. Okay, you could do this before or after, whichever way, just make sure it's done. Just make sure it's done. All right, so when the button is clicked, then we call on the on the present view controller. All right, we want to admit that um, we could pass a no handler. When it's done, okay. Let's see how this looks. We want this now. iPhone, our fancy new iPhone 10. All right, okay. It's building, it's building, it's building, and it's built and installing. All right, now here it goes. When I click on the button, here that's it. Okay, our cancel action doesn't show. I wonder why I'll check on that but now the bottom line is you have all your actions here showing you can click on anyone uh, so for now nothing happens and our act our council doesn't show I wonder why so let's go and fix that and make something show so we're going to add a label and then pass whatever we select to the label okay okay we didn't add the action to the alert cool so alert dot add action cancel action all right, so that should make the cancel action show there. Now, uh, I'm going to add a label to choose to show whatever our selection is. I will call this selection label. Okay, so now back to our view controller. Now, whenever we select our action right here, what do we want to show? Now our selection label the text is gonna show our number. Is it cool? Uh, so now we can also clear the label whenever we select cancel. We'll add that here as well. Uh, selection label. Ah. So text equals to string dot empty. Oh boy. Alright, let's see how semicolon. Let's see how this looks on our iPhone 10. Okay, fine. We have a label now. Our cancel shows. Cool. Now when I click cancel, it should clear the text. The button the label is clear. If I click on an option, it shows. Yep, good. If I click on nine, it shows. Fine. So this way we can have a variable set of variable string of options during runtime application and just feed it to our list. So all we need is create a list, add variables. Whenever we want to trigger our action sheet, we add each action through iteration to the list add each of them as an action to the user and then we do whatever magic you want to do all right cool so that's it for this video uh stay tuned subscribe and watch out for the next one and if you need if explanation anything you can always comment or message me and then i'll probably make a video about it all right guys see you next time